right, this video is going to be a very quick one as we're going to set up our character so we currently we attack by just we don't even have a weapon and we can attack we're going to set it up so we can only attack when we have a weapon in hand as well as we have no way of rotating with our weapon so we don't really have a way to turn and aim now we're currently only going to be turning left and right as up and down movements have while you kind of like bend at the uh, spine that will come in a later video but to keep this one simple we're going to be able to rotate and to quote unquote aim as well as only be able to attack when we have a weapon in hand so we can do this very quickly in our survival character dot h go to where we have our actually right here our replicated variables well actually we don't even need to do that so in our inputs so settings project settings input create a new action mapping and call this one aiming and I'm going to bind it to the right mouse button and go ahead and save now we can create two functions that we call so void set is aiming and void set is not aiming and we will call set is aiming when we press the mouse button down and call set is not aiming when we release the mouse button okay now let's go ahead and create those binds real quick I'm going to copy our shift sprint and replace sprint with aiming and IE pressed with IE released now the function is going to be set is aiming for when it's pressed and set is not aiming when it's released now those functions should be down near the bottom right here I'm gonna put them right below our attack which is right here alright now we need a server function So this is going to be, well, we can just copy a lower server function real quick, and just paste it in there, and replace interact with server underscore aim. And make this take in a bool, so bool aiming. create our definitions for the implementation and validate functions and they should be right here we have no reason to really return false so we can do a check here so uh, this is where we're going to toggle a replicated boolean that's going to call an on rep event so what we can do is we can create an on rep event with the boolean so we're going to do u property replicated using it's going to be on rep um, what do we call it set aiming bool b is aiming and then a u function void set is aiming and that will take care of the rest let's create a definition of this on rep function and set our replicated variable up so we're going to do b is aiming we're going to set that to false as well as we need to replicate it so b is aiming now in our set is aiming and set is not aiming what we want to do is we want to simply do a client check so there's no point in testing it on the server when we can just test it on the client so if weapon we will call server underscore aim and it takes in a boolean so we want to pass in true because we are aiming then our set is not aiming we want to pass in false so then from there we simply do b is aiming we're going to set that to be equal to aiming 
Now naturally this is going to trigger this on wrap event, but it's not going to trigger it on the server. So I want to show you what happens when you don't trigger it on the server in this specific use case and why we need to. So I want to set it not do it first. So on wrap set as aiming, we can do what's it B use controller rotation, y'all. This will if we set this to true, it will lock it to our rotation like left and right. So we set that to equal B is aiming. So that will set it to true or false. And then we build. Nope, and there's a traditional crash. Alrighty. So now when I right click and turn, nothing happens, pick up the weapon, hold right click, as you can see it locks the rotation. The problem is, you can see it's rotating on client 1, but not client 2. That is because we have to call the on rep event, so on rep, set aiming, and that will fix that. The other thing we want to do is we want to not be able to attack unless we have the weapon. So for that, simply move our closing bracket to not allow us to attack unless we have a weapon. We can actually do the same check here, so if the role is authority and weapon, then we build. So we can only attack if we have a weapon in hand. Alrighty, here's client 1, here's client 2. So I'm left clicking, can't attack, pick up the weapon, left click, I can attack. And now when I hold right click, we can rotate, aim, shoot, however we want. Just like so. And that'll also work for joint and progress players if you just happen to see someone already rotating and that kind of thing. So what we have done, we created a replicated boolean, so if the player is aiming, we will lock its rotation. So anytime we change this from true to false, and vice versa, it calls our onrep function. So the way we set it is with our input, if we hold or we press right click, aiming, our set as aiming gets called, and when we release it, set as not aiming gets called. So what those do is simply toggle call the server function to toggle our B is aiming value. So if it's true, we lock the rotation. If it's false, we unlock it, setting it to false. And that's literally it. So I will see you in the next one.